So, another question is, what is the best way to breed the pygmy quarries yeah. they have a decent group of them? So, pygmy quarries are really interesting in that they don't spend as much time on the bottom of the substrate as other types, right? And and for the most part, your your micro corridors, as we talked about, or gastrodermis, all those types, the elegans types, their snout is is kind of like a, it's shaped like this. So it's more designed for picking pieces of food off of plants or roots or whatnot than digging in the substrate. So the, the pygmy quarries aren't big substrate diggers. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, I think having at least part of the bottom of the tank as either um, you know small rounded pea gravel or even like larger rounded you know like clay gravel that people use for plant substrate, I think that that is a great way to to mm -hmm. make sure that you get some pygmy quarries that are they're able to hide in the crevices there and survive, you know, because as much as people say, Oh, pygmy quarries never eat their fry. I could tell you firsthand, I watched a big old female. She dropped a whole bunch of eggs and then the fry hatched and I watched her pick off the fry one at a time. <laughs> so they do, they, if they're big enough and it fits in their mouth, they do eat their fry. You know, like they, I would say a better thing to say is that pygmy quarries don't eat all their fry that would be that would be a better way to put it but um i kept i kept 12 of them with a sand substrate in a tank with with a bunch of floating java moss and a sponge filter um i did not heat the tank and i did regular 50 percent water changes weekly and over over the course of probably about four or five months out of the ones that they didn't need i probably harvested about 50 fry you know, so, um, so that you, you know, you don't need the, you know, the little bit larger rounded substrate, but having a patch of that, you're probably giving the babies a little bit better chance and, and somewhere to hide while until they can grow. Um, the big key is to feed them um, baby brine shrimp and live microworms. So if you're trying to breed pygmy quarries and you're trying to feed them dry foods, it's probably not going to work very well. So they're, again, they're micro predators and they need really small foods, you know, so baby brine shrimp and live microworms, it's going to be great for the adults. It's going to be great for the babies. Um, if you, if you can do that and feed them once a day with live microworms, feed them once a day with baby brine shrimp, you're going to, you know, even in a five gallon tank, you're going to find fry and they're going to survive and, and you'll get something out of it at least. So.